Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Dan Carpenter. These neighbors have fired up the grill and brought out the yard games for a night of fun and conversation. Minnesota Night to Unite is about creating safer neighborhoods by building connections. For the first time, Coon Rapids resident Brian Owens is hosting a Night to Unite party. Better too much than not enough. He decided to take over the grilling duties when a neighbor recently moved. Well, she set the bar really high. Hopefully we can, uh, you know, continue to keep it going even though she had, has moved away. Ready? Is that going to be the one? Oh, yay! On the first Tuesday in August, Good job. Minnesotans spend time outside their homes saying hello to neighbors. Hello. Hi. We meet uh, new people. Uh, they're, you know, new to the neighborhood. And, um, you know, it, it's definitely the kind of neighborhood if you need something, you can count on anybody. And, you know, this just kind of expands the network a little bit and get to know each other a little better and have some fun. Here in Coon Rapids. I'm Brian. Hi, Brian. The local police department also takes part. Yeah, you don't have many problem areas. Officer Brian Beadle has worn the badge for 17 years. We just come out and we just basically are an open ear to people. We let them bend our ear, talk to us about what their concerns are, what questions they may have. Um, we do get the typical, you know, someone speeding up and down, what can, uh, up and down our street, what, what can we do, and then we make suggestions on that. On this night, he and 18 officers will visit as many neighborhoods as possible. 121 Night to Unite parties were registered with the city. Uh, we give some crime prevention um, tips as far as shrubbery around the windows, lighting, uh, vehicles locked at night, not keeping the uh, garage door openers in the vehicles because the people have been going into vehicles, opening the garage doors and going in. It seems like a very nice neighborhood as long as I've been here. Yeah, there's never any issues. Linda Larson recently moved to the neighborhood. I think people are inside their houses more. People have larger, smaller families and larger homes and they spend their time in their home where probably in our grandparents era they had 10 kids and a little house and everybody was outside. So people are just outside less and I think this gets you outside to, to get to know your neighbors. Larson wants to get to know those who live nearby. I think the more you get to know your neighbors, the more people care and then you watch out for each other. I believe if this didn't continue that we'd have more communities and neighbors and, and people that live in the homes just stay inside. It'd be less going outside. This way it not only helps us interact with our community, but it also helps them as neighbor and neighborhoods because they may not know their new neighbor that moved in last year or something to come down and have a conversation. Then they have that one-way street where they feel more comfortable if they need them for something, whether it's a natural disaster or whether it's something that they've been seeing suspicious to spread the word around and to let everybody know. So we like to get that communication. And we seem it, that's a huge benefit for not only us, but also for each individual neighborhood to be able to communi uh, communicate with each other and, and be able to be on top of what's going on in their neighbors. The Whitson family decided to bike to a nearby Night to Unite party at the United Methodist Church. Go, go catch sister. Yeah, it's just great to get out here. You know, I've met a couple neighbors that I haven't, you know, I mean, I've seen them, but you don't always get a chance to say hello. Whitson says people are normally too engrossed in their gadgets and busy lives to look up and see who or what's around them. Everybody just gets so busy and gets so engrossed in, in their own schedules that again, it's nice to stop, a wonderful summer night, get out and, uh, you know, again, meet your neighbors. With plenty of ice cream and entertainment on hand, both adults and children easily found new and old friends. My daughter reconnected with a couple of friends that she hadn't seen since school was out. So again, just getting that personal face-to-face -face, um, contact and being a community instead of just a bunch of, you know, random faces. The Coon Rapids Police Department took the opportunity to introduce themselves to the city's younger residents. Uh, the children are our number one priority right now, especially with these types of things. So we want to we want to get to them and talk to them and make them aware that we are human beings and that it's a positive thing to see a police officer. Um, we're not bad people. We usually go off and say it's the one percenters that are upset with us and those are the most boisterous and we talk to the kids about it. Whew. That's a hot grill. A night to eat, have a little fun, but most of all, make connections. Worst that can happen is you meet a few new people and have a little something to eat and visit. For CTN Spotlight. Good times, good food. This is Dan Carpenter reporting.